beautiful day here in New York. I'm in Central Park again, because um, it's one of my favorite places in the world. So I feel like when I'm in the city and there's nice weather, I kind of like have to have a bit of Central Park time. Um, I just picked up some iced coffee and a scone at one of my favorite places from the, on the Upper West Side um, called Alice's Teacup. It's so good, um, like super cute inside. If you're like here with family, it's great. It's like Alice in Wonderland themed. I've been going there like, God, like almost 15 years now. It was like one of the first places like around the corner from my dorm that we like found that like my family and I just loved. Um, so I still go in there on occasion to get a little scone. They do a really good pumpkin scone with like a caramel glaze. It's so good. It comes with jam and cream and it's perfect to like grab on the go and then bring over to Central Park to have a little picnic. Um, so I'm just hanging out in the Rambles now. I'm gonna have my breakfast and then head over to the Upper East Side to hang out with one of my friends there. We're gonna go check out a Andy Warhol exhibit and then from there walk over to the Met and check out the Karl Lagerfeld exhibit there. So it should be really cool. So yeah, it's just like another very busy day here in New York. Um, last night was great. Shakespeare in the Park was a lot of fun. It was really cool because this is the last performance I'm going to get to see in the old Delacorte Theater. Turns out they're closing it for the next like year and a half to do renovations. Um, so I'm really glad I got to go because like going to the Delacorte every summer is like just kind of been a tradition of mine for like over a decade now. So it was nice to get to like go say goodbye to the old theater and uh, I guess get excited for the new one that hopefully has more comfortable seats. But um, if you're in New York this summer, definitely check it out. It's free. Um, other than the fact that like maybe bring like something to sit on because the seats are really hard. <laughs> other than that, like it's great. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have my breakfast and then run over to the Upper East Side before I'm like running late, because I think <sighs> I'm never on time for anything in New York. Um, I'm definitely gonna be late. <laughs>
Okay, so I just left my friend Anna. Um, we ended up skipping the Andy Warhol exhibit because it was closed. And so we just went straight to the Met and were able to see the um, rooftop exhibit, which is gorgeous, as well as the Karl Lagerfeld exhibit. So it was a perfect little artsy afternoon together. And now I'm just walking in Central Park and like the Jackie Onassis like reservoir. You can see it's like really nice this time of day. Uh, you usually just kind of have to watch for the runners, but otherwise it's great. Uh, so I went to uh, the Upper East Side and got my favorite like dessert. Um, it's chocolate mousse. It's so good. It's from this place called Mojo. It's on 100th and uh, First Avenue. They have a couple different kinds. I really like their dark chocolate. So I got that on a little bit of water and I'm gonna have a little like dessert picnic in the park and then just kind of have a chill evening and uh, watch the Tony Awards, so it should be fun. Oh, also, if you're planning on going to the Met to go to the Karl Lagerfeld exhibit or any of the, expresso, the uh, special exhibits right now, um, you do have to have, like, it's kind of almost like timed entry. You have to, like, sign up on the list and then they text you when it's your turn to go in. So that's something new. Um, we didn't really see it advertised. We just kind of got lucky somebody like stopped us and told us. Um, so you have to do that kind of out where like the general like information stand is, I think. Um, so yeah, just a heads up there.